hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to make the out of stock validation in our laravel e-commerce that is when the product is out of stock the user should not be able to add to cart or if it is already added to cart we should not be able to check out with that product it should be removed from the cart so previously we had made till here so when you give proceed to check out you will get this form over here and all these products will be over here and these details we have created these fields in our users table so when the first time user is uh, checking out he's placing the order these things will be stored in his uh, users table so the next time he is coming to place an order these things will be pre-filled from the users table and if you want to change the address also it's going to be stored along with the order so if you want to bring it to a new address you can give that also so before that we need to check one thing so when i go over here let me select redmi k20 pro this thing shows in stock so i have made this thing as quantity of zero so it will show out of stock but still here our add to cart button is visible this thing should not be visible if it is out of stock so let us just finish that first so i'll go to my web.php and it is category and the product yeah this thing product view thing we need to go to that page view so it is here product view and the out of stock you can copy this thing copy and paste so the user will still be able to add to the wish list control x and paste it over here else we are not going to show anything so you can directly remove it off so if the quantity is greater than zero then only the add to cart button will be visible so let us go and check so i'll refresh and see the add to cart button is disappeared from here so once the stock is available the user will be able to add to cart so there is one more situation where i have already added to cart when the stock was available and i have not checked out so it will be stored in my cart so imagine if this thing is out of stock now and i had previously added it to cart so i need to validate it over here before checkout so for this thing here we will be showing that stock is not available in our cart view page yeah the cart here we are displaying the quantity increment or decrement and the total we are incrementing over here so if the stock is available only then we have to increment right so we will put it along with this thing after this label just put a if condition or here at if and what we are checking over here if the dollar item of products table of the qty the quantity is greater than the whatever the user has given so there might be a stock of one product but the user has given three quantity he requires so we are going to check it from his cart table so how much he has given then it is going to show out of stock so item of the prod quantity i guess we have given let me check it in the model models cart to the prod qty so if it is greater than what the user has given then this will be visible here you are going to say and if so if this is visible only then we need to increment it so just paste it over here save and go to your browser and refresh okay this thing is in stock right login as the admin and change it over here let me say new incognito window here i will login as the admin here in the products table it was the k20 pro right i'll just reduce this quantity to zero say update so now the thing will be gone out of stock so let us check it refresh or here you can see it's not visible and the price is also not being calculated we will show here out of stock message so here if and before this end if just add a else part 
at else I'll just say h6 out of stock save and refresh you can see this is out of stock so when I say check out this thing should not be valid over here we will just automatically remove this thing if it is not uh, available right we will just remove that proceed to check out this thing should not be visible over here so for that you have to go to your checkout controller and check for this so here we are going to say a for each loop say for each dollar cart items as dollar item and here we are going to loop through each of the id if product model where the id is equal to the dollar item of product id and where the quantity so qty is greater than or equal to the dollar item of prod qty qty and to say exists function okay so in this line we are saying the product model where the id is matching to our product id this thing is coming from the cards table okay so the product id and the quantity should be greater than or equal to the product quantity what the user has stored in his cart so if there is something like that if it exists we are not going to do anything if there is not we need to remove it from this cart items so what i'm going to say if not so if it does not exist we are going to remove it from the cart table and send the new record so the things which are out of stock will not be sent to the checkout page so here we are going to say dollar remove item is equal to the cart model where the user id is equal to the authenticated users id id where the prod id is matching to our item of dollar item of prod id of the first record okay so we are getting the first record of this where the product is uh, quantity is less than the what the user has requested so we are going to delete that record say dollar remove item of delete function so once all this thing is done right we need to set get the new data from the cart so here we'll just rename this thing to old cart items and paste it over here so the cart items is the same thing you can just copy and paste copy and paste so the whichever the product was out of stock is now removed from this cart model or the table so we will get the fresh records which are available so now we'll just go and check in our website just refresh over here you can see it is out of stock so once i click proceed to check out this thing will be removed from our cart you can manually remove it from here or you can see proceed to check out you can see here that thing is gone and you can go in your cart and check it will be gone from there it has been deleted from this cart table perfect so now when you say proceed to check out you can see the previous product which was out of stock is gone now so that's it in this video guys we will see in the next video how to make this place order and store the order items in order items table and the order in the orders table so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you